Okay, so moving on. Our next icon is the color icon. Select a, a circle or sorry, the ellipse tool from the shapes tool and draw it in your frame. Remove the fill and set the stroke to 0.5 pixels. Now duplicate the circle using Command or Control D on your keyboard. Then reduce the size of the copy. Once you're done reducing the size, duplicate the copy using Command or Control D again. Select one of the small circles and the main circle. Then click the top align button to position the small circle at the top of the bigger circle. Select the other small circle and the bigger circles and click on the right align button at the top here to, posi to position the small circle at the right side of the big circle. So when all is said and done, select all three circles and rotate it by 45 degrees to the left side or to the left. Now select the triangle from the shapes to and draw a triangle in the center. Move the mouse here and increase the value of the number of sides of the triangle to 5. So now it becomes a pentagon. Okay, now select the big circle and fill it. Once you're done with that, change the color then remove the stroke around it. Click this point or dot and drag it in the clockwise direction till so you get what I have here. Select the circle and fill it. Once again, remove the stroke around it. Repeat the same action to the other small circle. Once you're done with that, click on the shape created with the bigger circle and select the dot here. Then drag it backwards. Flatten the pentagon, then adjust it a bit to make sure that everything is going well. Select the brown shape and the two small circles and click the union selection in the boolean menu. Select the polygon and the shape that was just created and select subtract from the boolean menu once again. Flatten the shape to convert it into a vector. Double click or press enter on your keyboard to enter the vector mode of the shape. Once you're done with that, select the dots in the center and curve the corners there a bit. Then deselect that. Then select the dots at the edges. The four dots here. Yeah. And then curve that a bit too. Now change the color to Let's take care of. I meant round them, sorry. Now change the color to black. Once you're done, rotate it. And then we're done with our color icon. So, we're almost at the end of our video. Our last and final icon is the telephone. Okay, so first we'll duplicate the color and bring it here. Because you know, we'll need that. Grab a rectangle and draw a rectangle in the frame. Enter the vector mode by uh, either pressing enter on your keyboard or double clicking on the shape and then create the point at the side like I'm doing now. Select the point at the top corner and move it here. Okay, good job. Do the same thing for the other side. Select these two points and round their corners. Select the point we created at the sides and round the point as well. I'll make some slight changes to the shape we have here before we move on. Once you're done with that, select a rectangle from the shape tool and draw this bar. 
round the corners of the bar as well and then duplicate it. Change the color. Select the ellipse tool and draw a circle in the center of the phone. Now create a stroke around the circle and change the color of the stroke to white. Adjust the size of the circle a bit and remove the fill. Select both the circle and the telephone shape and click on the subtract in the boolean menu to create a hole in the center of the shape. Finally, select both the collar and the body to flatten it. Once you have that down, we are good to go. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was informative enough. Thank you for watching and see you next time.